Hi, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create an engaging online teaching class using Elgato products. With more education being learned online from home, we've been contacted by many educators asking how they can use our products to help them teach online lessons. So we wanted to make this video to cover this very important topic. In this video, I'm gonna be showing a few options and variations with Elgato products, as well as non-Elgato products, so some of the concepts you learn in this video can be scaled up or down depending on what your budget is. Now, as far as what software platform you're using to teach your students, you know, your, your university might be providing you with a piece of software for online teaching, or you might be using popular apps like Zoom, BlueJeans, uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, or Discord. This video is actually gonna be compatible with all of those because what we're gonna do is we're going to add a bunch of digital components together through a software called OBS. Now, OBS is a free streaming and recording program that lets you add combinations of webcams, display recordings, graphics, and more. And while OBS is traditionally used to stream to live streaming sites like YouTube or Facebook, you can actually download a simple plugin called OBS Virtual Camera, which will output whatever you see in this program to a virtual webcam that'll be recognized in any application that takes a webcam. So if you're talking to your students on Zoom or Google Hangouts or Discord, instead of having just one single webcam being your video source, you can actually have all these different graphics and different components that your students can see. So this will work with any software that recognizes webcams, period, which is really great. So that's the software. What do we need for hardware? The three absolute musts you'll need are a computer, a web camera of some sort, and a microphone. Now, as far as your computer goes, OBS actually has pretty lean system requirements. We've linked in the description panel the web page where they share that, but you will wanna make sure you're running a Windows computer because this OBS virtual camera is only available on Windows. So you'll either want a Windows computer or a Mac that's boot camp to Windows. And you'll also wanna make sure that your computer has enough USB 3 ports to support plugging in different accessories, like a headset, a microphone, and a camera or two. Next, we have the camera. Now, a basic camera would be the built-in webcam on your laptop. Or if you don't have that, a standalone webcam like the Logitech C920, which can be purchased for around $50. However, webcams tend to be low in resolution and quality, so if you have the budget for it, you can opt for Elgato Cam Link, which allows you to use real cameras, camcorders, or GoPros as your webcam. A lower end camcorder we'd recommend for this setup would be the Canon R800, which runs for about $200, has really nice quality, and has a lot of zoom. Which is nice because let's say you want to go analog and want to move around to maybe like a whiteboard that's far away from your desk. You can zoom in on that camcorder so your students can see what you're doing really clearly. So you can choose either way for this setup. One will be cheaper and one will be better quality. So it's all about what's within your budget. And lastly, you want a microphone. Now you can opt for a USB microphone like the Blue Snowball or the Audio-Technica AT2020, but depending on your teaching style, if you do need to walk around a bit for your lecture, you may even want to look into a wireless headset to be your microphone. Now, if you're sitting in one place and are close to your USB mic, it's gonna sound better than a headset microphone. But if you need to move around, the headset mic might be a far better option and will allow you to hear your students as well. The Corsair Virtuoso has a really fantastic microphone on it, so if you are shopping around for a headset with a good mic, I would recommend that. Next, you'll want to showcase your lessons to your students. So in OBS, we can simply add a display capture source, which will record your computer's display. That way, let's say you have like a PDF open or something, or a notepad file you can type in, or if you want to draw, you can use them as paint. But let's say you don't like the keyboard and mouse and your lessons generally require an overhead projector or an elmo. You can use an Elgato multi-mount with a flex arm kit to get a top-down camera angle so you can capture yourself writing notes on a mini whiteboard or a notebook. Now, while you can use a webcam for this top-down view, a more affordable option could be our iOS app Elgato Screen Link, which lets you use your iPhone as a wireless webcam for a one-time cost of $9.99. But a third option to showcase your lessons with your students is using a cam link, but not to capture a camera, but instead an iPad. If you get a lightning to HDMI or a USB-C to HDMI adapter, you can actually connect your iPad's display to a cam link to capture that screen. Then all you need to do is run a simple note-taking app 
And then all of a sudden, you have a digital whiteboard that you can add to OBS and show your students. And an awesome thing about OBS is you can separate your different camera angles and configurations by putting them into what's called scenes. Like I might want one scene to just be a full screen webcam of myself, and then I might want another to show the picture of my webcam and the picture of my iPad. It's very easy to do this in OBS, and then when you need to switch between them, you can just click these different scenes. But to make things even easier, you can use an Elgato Stream Deck to switch between these scenes, as well as do other things like mute your microphone in case you need to sneeze or something. So with everything here, I could be talking to my students with a full screen webcam, and then when I'm ready to draw something out for them, I just press a button and I'll switch to that different scene. And if I need to mute myself or I need to switch back to the webcam, again, it's just another button press. And again, going back to the whole mobile aspect, if your lessons requires it, there is also an app version of Stream Deck called Stream Deck Mobile on iOS and Android. It has a 30 day free trial and afterward, it's only $3 a month or $25 a year. And when you use it on your phone, it is completely wireless, so you can control your stream even when you're walking around. Now, we showed a lot of products here, but the idea here is just to inspire you to create your space in a way that you find most useful for teaching. Like, you don't need a multi-mount for a top-down view if you're capturing an iPad screen or if you're just display recording your computer screen. If you do need a top-down view, you don't necessarily need a cam link and a camera for both the top-down camera and the camera on you. Though, if you have the budget for it, that is certainly possible. The point of this video is just to show what's possible with online teaching when you use Elgato products, no matter what combination you may end up using. If you want to learn more about Elgato products, I invite you to check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more tutorials and deep dives into our products so you can take your online course teaching to the next level. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.